Welcome to my channel, People Tech Media. We are happy to have you around. So please feel comfortable and please don't forget to like our content, to subscribe to our channel and also share with your friends and your family as we are dedicated to making content that will enrich your daily lives. Thank you. So, welcome to People Tech Media, and uh, we are happy to have you around. So, we we'll continue from where we stopped. Remember, we started from how to download high quality backgrounds for our flower designs. Uh, so, um, from there, we moved to uh, how to create our own custom backgrounds from the existing ones we've downloaded. So, today we'll be looking at uh, how we can uh, how we we'll look at the continuation where we stop now since we have our background and remember what we are planning to design is a birthday flyer so the next thing we are going to do uh, is to actually get the picture we are using for this design and most of the pictures are yeah, the pictures are already here but most of them are having a background which we have to remove them all so now looking at the pictures we have about one two three four five pictures here although you mustn't necessarily use all but at least you are going to make use of at least four of these pictures here so now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to select all pictures now how do you select hold down your control you select the first one hold down your control and you click the remaining ones to select now if you're on windows 10 you can just easily from here pick them and come over to your photoshop but if you're on windows 11 that's practically impossible so what you just do is why you hold them like this and how do you hold them you press down your left click you press the you press it down and hold so you, then on your keyboard you hold down your alt key and your tab now make sure you don't release your finger from the alt key but you can release your finger from the tab now what uh, we are want to take these pictures to is our birthday our photoshop which is this which is the one i just selected using you you like use your alt key to navigate you hold down your alt key then you use your tab key to navigate so i'm going to navigate to adobe photoshop now instead of you dropping it at the middle here because once you drop it at the middle what it's going to do is to to add to this your birthday flyer document instead i'm going to either come to this place at the top until it shows me copy or I'll come to this place until i see this plus sign and release so i'll come to this place until it shows me copy then i'll release now you can see that each of the pictures have been created on a new and an entirely new document so now the one i want to start with is with this one so now to remove this background will be very easy for me since all the background is actually like white so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to head to this my tool now your tools might not be like this yours might be just one page like this so whether it's one in one row like this or in double row like this what you after is this two they call it quick selection tool so what I'll, i'm going to do is to select this magic wand tool now selecting this magic wand tool i'm going to click on the background now you can see that as it is now the background is being selected i'm going to go ahead now you find out that there's a white spot here so i'm going to go ahead Holding now my shift key, I'll press this one to select as well. Now, we hold down our shift key because of looking at this one. Once I don't hold down my shift key, after selecting this outside, if I come here and select this one, the one outside will deselect. So to avoid that, after selecting this on the outside, I'll hold down my shift key to tell the selection to the, I'm actually adding to the selection. I'll go ahead and add it. So remember what I selected, was my background so the next thing here is to unlock this background then i'll now go ahead and pressing and holding i'll bring it to this place and release okay no so holding down my alt key because what I actually selected was my background not him so i need to invert it so to invert i hold down my alt key come to this place here to mask it and tap on it now you can see that i've removed my background now 
to check whether the, the the I removed it properly. I'm going to head back to this place, the mask uh, layer. I will double click on it. Now you can see that it, he has white edges around him. So I'm going to deal with that. Now to deal with that, I'm going to increase my radius here to at least two. Put on my smart radius. For this smooth, I'm going to take it to ten. Why for this shift edge? As you can see, when we increase it to ten, you can see that most of those white stuffs disappear. But if we take it back to zero, so here I'm going to put it to ten. Then my shift edge, I'll take it to minus ten. So as you can see, you find out that the edges are okay. Yes. So this one, because of this right top, you see something whitish. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove them with the brush tool. I'll come back head to the brush tool. Come to this place to increase the size of the brush tool. Uh, you just come here. You can increase the size from this place. Uh, I think let me increase it more. Then I want to reduce the spacing. Then from here. So as you can see, what is the actually doing is to bring back the background which of course that's not what i want so instead of plus here i'm going to select minus here then i'm going to as you can see i'm clean it make sure you don't mistakenly go into the picture or else it's going to clean the picture so for this i'll just press my undo button which is control z and i'll take this one off so i think i'm okay with this so i'll go ahead and press okay now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to right click on this layer max and use apply layer max then i'm going to convert this layer to what they call smart object now somebody somebody might be asking that why must you convert it to smart object why the reason the main reason why i'm converting it to a smart object is uh because of if i should leave it as a mere image uh, by the time in the process of designing i might want to reduce or increase the size now if i don't turn it to a smart object by the time I'm increasing and reducing the size of the picture what is going to be happening is what they call pixelation that's to say uh it will get to a point where the picture quality over time will reduce due to increase and decrease of size so we will talk about that uh, much about that in our later videos so for now so i'm going to pick this one up let's see okay what i'm going to do there are many ways of doing it uh, uh if you would like so what i'm going to do is to come back to this my rectangular marquee tool come to my picture all right click on it so after right clicking on it you see duplicate layer so i'll duplicate it now you see duplicate layers let me use picture one then documents now where do you want to duplicate this document i want to actually duplicate it to my birthday flyer because that's where i need this picture and i press ok now to go back to our that our what our birthday flyer i'll tap on this thing and you can see here birthday flyer so i'll select it now you can see our picture here already so uh, I'm going to just save it. I'll leave it here. I'll go to the next picture Okay, since I'm done with this one Okay, no since I'm done with this. I'll just close it now to close you can either use this place You just tap on it to close it. You see save changes or you can use your control W So you see it's showing you save changes. I don't need it to save it Although if you want to save you can save but I don't need to, to save so I'll cancel it. So the next picture I want to work on is the this one so this one too i'll head back to my quick selection tool and select my magic wand i'll click on the red part come down here now i'll zoom this image now how do you zoom this image it's very simple it's just for you to use your control and your plus button so you can see control plus then i'll i'll scroll down because i'm actually using an external mouse uh, so i'm holding down my shift key i'm going to select this part scroll down holding down my shift key to I'll select this part and remember why we are holding our shift key to let the selection to know that we are actually adding to the selection so I think I'm okay with this selection so the next thing is to remember since is the background we selected and not him himself 
that means we are, we are going to invert the selection how do you invert the selection holding down the alt key i'm going to press down my max so as you can see here you find out that the background has some red to it so we are going to eliminate that you come down to this your max layer and you double click on it to open it up here then already the background is red so we might not differentiate between him and the background so we can come here come over here and change the color to something different like we can say green uh, i think green will show we expose more of the red than blue we okay i think blue we expose more of the red so we'll set it to blue then this radius i'm going to put it set it to two pixels i'm going to put on my smart radius smooth i'm going to put it to 10 and then shift edge i'm going to put it to minus 10. now you always set these things based on how good you see they are to me i think this is uh okay in a fair although let me see if i can increase the smooth and see how far let me increase it to 20 why this one let me increase it to minus 20 because i'm still seeing some red there okay so i think i'm okay with this and uh, the next thing is i'll just you make sure you choose new layer with layer max uh, why i normally i love using new layer with layer max is that uh, you can never tell it's possible that you might not want to temper with the original one just in case you want to come back and make some changes so I'll now go ahead and press ok so you can see uh, but but one thing remember uh, we are yet to remove this one here so to remove this one here remember you select your brush then you select your minus and you now come and brush over it to remove it totally and remember don't make any mistake of going into the picture uh -huh. so i think we are done i'll press ok so i think i'm okay with this so the next thing i'll apply my layer marks to it and then change it to smart object you right click uh, and convert to smart object so this one so i'll do the same thing i'll come down to my rectangular marquee tool i'll duplicate it to my birthday flyer so since i'm done i'll close it no. so the next one this one As you can see for this one you can easily pick it up from here you understand since we are now seeing our birthday flyer our birthday flyer is now visible you can pick it from here you you hold your holding down your left click you drag it to this point and then you come and release it here so you can see uh, so i'm going to drop it uh, one place uh, so i think i'm done with this so close the windows uh, so i have this one left of course this one is not if we cannot remove it from the background but it will take most of our time i'm looking at the picture is the quality is quite poor so it might take more time trying to bring out the picture from the background although we might still have a use for it so i'll go back to this one and make sure everything is okay 
so i think i'm okay with this so thank you for watching people tech media and uh, remember this is more like a series so we'll continue in our next video stay tuned as in our next video we'll be arranging the picture and we'll be doing subsequent like adding a happy birthday text and adding if possible a name and the rest so uh thank you please make sure you like the video make sure you subscribe to our channel uh, and make sure you invite your friends and family to the channel uh, thank you and have a good day